starting a project, again, as I mentioned, begin with the end in mind. Right. Who are the players? What is the organization trying to achieve? How is, does it tie into business outcomes? Those are things you can glean from different tools, such as one, a stakeholder analysis. I need to understand who my stakeholders are. If there is buy-in, how to maintain that buy-in or how to obtain the buy-in if it's not currently there. Right. Looking at tools like a project charter, which is going to identify some things, what's going on in terms of requirement, what kind of background do we have going on? Maybe that project charter would include results of a SWOT analysis, the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Looking at a RACI chart to see you know, who the approvers are, decision makers. All of that plays a part at the beginning. And one key thing at the beginning that some get in trouble later on is failure to complete a risk analysis or some type of contingency plan. And definitely both when need presents itself. What are the risks at play here that you know could impact the project being successful or even delivery of my of deliverables, achieving milestones throughout the project? Then during the project, we're looking at what tools are we using, such as maybe a change plan to track it and control it, and other analysis tools that help you monitor to ensure it's on scope. It's within scope, excuse me. It's on track with the plan schedule and you are controlling the use of resources. And at the end, we're definitely looking at evaluation. What type of evaluation tool you're using to ensure you met the client expectations, you achieve the desired results with the project requirement. Right. And then the lessons learned. What do we learn about the project team? What did we learn about how we progress through the project team? completion and then what do we learn about the overall success.